I actually only joined Twitter a few weeks ago and I never thought I'd be making a video like this. But seeing the level of hate on Twitter towards an Irish property developer has just frustrated me. I'm also shocked that it was discussed in the doll. But the level of hate level at property developer Johnny Ronan in the last 48 hours is actually disappointing Ireland. I'm not sure if it's out of jealousy or fear of success. I want to share some details I recall over the last number of years so people can actually make up their own minds with some more information. I'm not going to call these facts, they're just memories that I have over the last 20 years. Before I start, I've been social distancing since the start of March. So I do get a little bit annoyed when I see people making fun of the current situation that we currently are in. But it's good to remember that Johnny's video was made back in February. And I think most Irish people would have made jokes along the same lines if they were drinking a Corona at the time. People do have a right to be annoyed about the video, but what actually annoys me even more is when I see CEOs and MDs posting on social media that their staff are working from home for their own safety, but actually it turns out that their offices are still full, but that's for a different time. To understand my bias on this matter, I've worked in the property industry for over 16 years and I've met Johnny Ronan two or three times at different property events over that period. I probably said less than 10 words to him. I've never received any fee from any of his companies and my only professional dealings with him that I can think of is actually negotiating shopping centre lease with one of his companies and I was actually on the other side of that negotiation. In terms of the Campbell family, the owners of Bewley's, I've met them a number of times at different family events and the odd wedding but I don't really know them. So hopefully you might say my bias is equal in this dispute. Most people are very supportive of Bewley's and I would love to see them stay open. So I'm not going to waste a huge amount of time in this video actually going into any detail about Bewley's. I'll focus on Johnny Ronan. What most people seem to forget is Johnny actually fought NAMA about his company loans from Treasury Holding going into NAMA in the first place. He argued that they were performing loans and would make a profit. I also recall Treasury Holdings actually trying to refinance their loans with non-Irish banks so they wouldn't actually have to go into NAMA. However, NAMA argued if they didn't get the good properties with the bad properties, NAMA would fail. NAMA picked up some great properties from Treasury Holdings at the time, including Spencer Dock and the National Conference Centre. They also picked up one of London's best development sites in Battersea Power Station. I believe NAMA actually picked up Battersea for a book value of 600 million and quickly sold it for 900 million. It was then later sold a few years later for 1.8 billion. And I believe actually the finished completed value of that development in Battersea Power Station was close to 9 billion. So I, you can understand why someone might be a little bit disappointed if that site got taken off them. It's also important to remember that it was Treasury Holdings, a company that Johnny Ronan had a major stake in that went into NAMA. His personal properties held in the Ronan Group never actually made it into NAMA. I'm not aware of what financial arrangements were made to hold on to those properties, but he held on to 10 to 12 prime properties located around Dublin City, including Beauties on Grafton Street. I think prior to people before profit TDs criticising successful Irish people in the DAW, they should consider how much tax they've paid on rent and stamp duty over the years and how many people they've actually employed in creating some of the developments they have around the country. The IDA and Enterprise Ireland are great bodies, but it's actually the likes of developers like Johnny Ronan that actually help attract major firms here to Ireland. Some of the properties that Johnny has developed have attracted tenants such as Google, Salesforce and Facebook. Some landmark buildings now here in Ireland because of Johnny including Paris Court Hotel as well as the conference centre here in Dublin. Someone should actually calculate the economic benefit to the state that major developers actually provide over their career and the lifetimes of the buildings that they create. Okay quickly on to beauties. I actually recall nearly 20 years ago in college working on a class project where I questioned the group's decision to recommend a sale and lease back strategy as part of our overall project. I questioned this strategy due to the fact that Bewley's had recently agreed to a sale and lease back and had been hit by their first rent review increase. This was back circa 2002 or 2003 and we were being taught that sale and lease backs were a good option for business to release cash into the business. But I got a lot of strange looks from my classmates suggesting that this wasn't a great idea. If Bewley's wanted to be on Grafton Street in 100 years, they never would have sold the property in the first place. They've already cashed in on the property value years ago. 
Their lease expires in two years, and in two years they'll be entitled to a new lease at market rent, assuming the landlord doesn't get planning permission for an alternative use. In the last crash, landlords generally did give rent abatements to companies that were struggling. However, landlords didn't give rent abatements to companies that weren't struggling and could afford to pay their rent. I've actually seen on Twitter that some people are referring to the fact that McDonald's got a rent reduction on Grafton Street and Beauties didn't. Well, this is due to the fact that McDonald's lease actually expired and they were entitled to a new lease at new market rent and the market rent at the time was lower than their last rent that they were paying. Beauties will be entitled to the same in two years time at when their lease expires, assuming the landlord doesn't have planning permission for something else. The courts of our land actually found that Beauties were not entitled to a rent reduction. So why would a landlord bail out a company that actually can afford to pay the rent? Beauties parent company had a turnover of 170 million last year. If you were a landlord, would you grant a rent reduction on your contracted rent to a company that has a turnover of 170 million? Perhaps what's actually at play here is beauties are just using the media and public sentiment to try and negotiate a better deal or better settlement with the landlord. To finish off, Johnny Ronan is not an elected figure and what he does on his holidays is none of our business. What we should focus in on is the fact that property development is a vital activity to advance Ireland and our economy. Perhaps there is some facts or information that I'm not aware of, so feel free to put your comments in below. And again, thanks for watching.